romanticize the ideas of our Indian princess wearing that headdress, but you don't know that they tricked you because what you're doing is assisting in the oppression of an entire people. By making a mockery of what is sacred, you are doing the dirty work. You want your connection to the spirit, to the stories, to the ancestors. What they didn't tell you was all you have to do is listen to the ones who were born from those stories. Prioritize indigenous voices. Take direction from indigenous voices. Listen to the indigenous voices. Because all I've been seeing is a story told from a white tinted window. Showing up to stand up for the water is only 20% of the issue. The rest of the work is the ability to hear the needs for a new school system that fuels and supports indigenous youth. The intergenerational trauma of drug and alcohol abuse that needs to be healed. The work is not telling a native man how to pray on the front lines. The work is remembering you are on native sacred land everywhere you place your feet and to treat it with the same respect you would a stranger's home because that's what it is a stranger's home the work is letting the indigenous people lead the indigenous movement whether you agree with the direct plan of action or not the the work is decolonizing the work is prioritizing indigenous voices i stand with standing rock